I want you to close your eyes and think of the one or two people in your life that nag you the most. Go ahead and close your eyes. Okay, so now open your eyes. If that person is a woman, well, a new study has just concluded, quote, female relatives nag you the most. Now, a new joint study from the University of California, Berkeley, says in most cases, that difficult person is a woman we're closely related to, say, our mother, our wives, our sisters. Yes, my sister. Mm. The study shows this is because female family members are more emotionally invested in their relatives. So no, it's not just Aunt, you know, Sue being annoying. No, she really does care about uh, your your physical being and your, uh, well, you know, what you accomplish in your life. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. Well, I, I, I want to know say, what the fellas say about this. I thought I could say about this, but I want to hear more about the study. What about family members and stuff like that? I want to hear more. So they actually asked over 2,000 people about their most troublesome or difficult relationships, mm -hmm. and they asked, uh, th those people also highlighted their friends, family, coworkers, saying that they have odd and difficult relationships with them, but 15% of those people said that they do have difficult uh, relationships outside of just their wives, their sisters, and, and women. So it's not just women, but it's, it's mostly women. Not just women, but mostly women. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you guys can be annoying too. Oh, oh. But, but, but it's oh, just, well. but women are invested emotionally. Uh, so so this says there's a catch-22. The study says that it mentions that it's a two-sided relationship yeah. that the naggers are the ones that we depend on, though. Exactly. So, so they're annoying us, but we need them. So you can't get rid of that mom and that sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or co-worker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We always tell you like it is. Uh, so did it recommend some ways to improve those nagging relationships? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I got away. <laughs> they, actually, uh, they actually included some experts. They say stick to the subject. Whenever you're getting in an argument with, with that nagger, uh, stick to the subject and focus on the present issue. Also, stay calm so both of you can listen to each other. And third, put things in perspective. It's a, if it's a small issue, let it go. What do you think the definition of nagging is? <clears throat> um. Uh -oh. Well, I'm, I'm going to answer that on camera. <laughs> Crash? It's usually when we get off camera, the nagging starts. Right, right, yeah. right, right. It's right. just it's constant, yeah. bothersome uh, yeah. comments and behavior. Would right. you say it's I, I that? Guess, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bible right. likens it to a dripping faucet. It's in tap, Proverbs. Tap, I can see that. Tap, yeah. tap, tap. That's all I'll say. Um, 510.